Hey guys, welcome back to the Motion Raceworks YouTube channel. Today we're super excited to bring you a new product that is something we've been thinking about for quite some time and we finally are bringing our own version of it to the market and that is a steering wheel quick disconnect. So as you know, we carry a whole line of uh, lightweight steering columns for a bunch of different platforms and then we sell do-it-yourselfs and then uh, just steering in general has kind of become a passion of ours. Um, you know, it's user feedback to us. It's the most important things in a vehicle as the driver is concerned. And so there's been some shortcomings of products on the market that we weren't a huge fan of, uh, both in function and in design. And we wanted to cure those with a uh, product of our own to make your life easier, our life easier, and uh, just to bring something new to the market. We basically started from the ground up on uh, this quick disconnect. It is SFI 42.1 approved, so it's legal for use in NHRA and, drag, and IHRA drag racing across all ends of the spectrum. That makes it not only a good replacement for what you have, but a safe piece. Uh, that was one of the important things for us. There's a lot of quick releases on the market that aren't SFI certified and why that's dangerous is pretty simple. You don't want a steering wheel coming off while you're going down the track. One of the things we didn't like about steering wheel quick disconnects in the past is the splines. It's always a pain. Um, you know, if you use your steering wheel, if you pull it off to get in and out of your vehicle, it takes, you know, even if you had the vehicle forever, sometimes it just takes so much fiddling and you have to get it just right. And it's just something you shouldn't have to think about, something that shouldn't have to give you anxiety or stress when you get in a vehicle. And uh, it seems like by the time you get that finally lined up, a lot of times you don't click it in right because you think it's just like stuck on there because the splines kind of gall up. Um, so the main thing we wanted to start with was a unique design that was easy to put through. So we have this puzzle piece looking uh, receiver built into it. So as long as you know where the big part is, it goes in super easy. There's no crazy lineup. You don't have to like fiddle with it just to like get it just right. Um, and it's of course locking by SFI standards. One of the other unique things about it is it has a five and six bolt pattern built into it. If you have a steering wheel or you want a different steering wheel, you don't have to buy a whole new quick disconnect. That's definitely a, a point of concern. You know, different types of uh, racing and different types of vehicles and brands and cars use different uh, bolt patterns, five and six being the standard for the industry. You shouldn't have to, like I said before, rebuy it just because you want to change to a cooler or a different steering wheel. This one has both built in, so you can just go ahead and change it out and you're on your way. This is 100% made in-house at Motion Raceworks. The only thing about this part that we don't do in-house is the coating itself and the spring that goes in it. I'll show you kind of a couple of the cool things as far as how they're used on the column a little bit differently than other ones in the past and why that's better. So one of the other things that we never liked about other ones in the past is the spline was uh, basically an ID that slipped into the OD. Um, now why that's important as far as we're concerned is, you know, pro mods are 100% lightweight. A lot of the columns used in them have a super thin wall, uh, three quarter OD shaft. On the other hand, a heavy vehicle, a drag radial vehicle, um, something that's used on race week or something like that, I super prefer to have a thicker wall uh, tube to be used on it. It gives you more strength. It gives you less ability to wobble out if you're using a bolt to hold it. Um, and it's just a lot of peace of mind for just a few ounces difference in the whole length of the shaft. So when we designed ours, uh, we designed it to go around the OD of a three quarter shaft. That's super cool because you don't have to have different variations. You don't have to turn it in a lathe to get it to fit in there. And you don't have to worry about material thickness differences. Um, when we built steering columns in the past and used other quick releases, we were always machining down the, the OD of the actual spline section to fit inside of it. And that's very common across the industry because not everybody uses the same thickness material. What that also does is gives us the opportunity to have potentially a stronger weld. Um, we have a lap weld now um, on this joint and uh, it's very easy to weld and very strong and it's supported all the way through this counter bore on the spline itself. The other cool thing is that the top, uh, the top lock or washer, if you will, is built into this. And why that's important is um, steering columns in the past, a lot of people, how they did them is they either weld a washer uh, right here that rides on the nylon bushing on the inside of the steering column, which even if you tack it in a fixture, even if you do weld it in a fixture, however you do it, 
it has a lot of potential for warping, which when you're turning the steering wheel, it'll ha have some wobble. It might actually gall up. So you're gonna have a hard spot in the steering wheel. And that's always been a point of contention. We weld everything in a fixture, but occasionally one will warp when it's cooling or heating up or being welded. And it's just kind of a pain. So we designed it to be machined in here. So now you have a machine surface riding on the nylon. One of the other unique things is that the whole OD fits on, in the nylon washer, so it's guided, and this thing is gonna be the smoothest and easiest to operate. Um, this thing just turns like butter as it's being used here. Um, the other option people did other than washers is they would put a split collar up here uh, to hold it, but the reason I don't like that is because now you have two split collars, one on one end and one on the other end. It's just more potential for something to go wrong. Having a, a hard welded item here um, or a hard machined item here, just it gives you a lot less chance for failure and issues across the board. One of the uh, little fine tuning pearls that I'll give you with this is that um, if you have a steering column and it's painted or you have powder coat that's inside, when you pound this nylon bushing into it, it has the potential to shrink up a little bit. You can use some 100 grit sandpaper on the ID of this bushing and that'll basically open it up so it's a lot smoother. Uh, it doesn't have to have super tight tolerances, but some of that stuff will shrink it when it gets pounded in there. Just a little tip for you guys because we send ours out and we basically fit and test them before they go out so you don't have to worry about it. But if you buy this nylon bushing separate, um, you might run into that just depending on thickness variations of material and powder coat and paint and that type of stuff. The last two things I'll cover on uh, this new steering quick disconnect, it does accept a standard style horn delete button, which I know a lot of uh, builders like to have their own uh, built into it. Um, in addition, we're now selling steering wheel extensions you know, a lot of people prefer to kind of set their depth on their steering wheel. Uh, Tim McAmos covered this a long time ago and it made a lot of sense to me. By keeping the column short um, as it relates to the car, it makes getting in and out of the car easier. Uh, that's not only a convenience, but also a safety thing. You know, if your car is on fire or you need to get out of it in a hurry, if, this, if the stub itself is sticking way out close to you, you're gonna catch yourself on it, your clothes, that type of thing. It's just gonna be really difficult to get in and out of. So by putting an extension on this versus changing the length of this, you can um, kind of cater where the wheel goes in relation to yourself. And another nice thing about that is if you sell the car or you have multiple drivers driving it, you can always have different length extensions and have separate wheels, whatever you wanna do. Uh, just gives you the ability to fine tune things from a driver feel perspective and layout. So that's it guys, this thing's 100% made in the USA, 100% made to our specification, and we think it makes it easier for the user and gives you a lot more adaptability in your program and creates a lot better driver feel, both in how it's built and how it operates. I hope you love this product as much as we do. We're super excited about it. It's live on the website right now. Like I mentioned before, uh, look in the description below and we'll have a link right to it. Going forward, all of our steering columns will have this on it and uh, you guys will be able to use it for yourself. If you have ideas for other products, I know we say this on Tech Tip Tuesday, but some of these ideas come directly from you guys. Uh, some of the things we implemented in this came directly from you guys. So don't feel uh, shy in dropping those in the comments below. We love to build things around what people want, not what we're able to build or what we want to build. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.